Get out, get out, it's here. We have a party at 396 County Road 644. The flames moved faster than anyone could have thought. We never ever expected 6,000 acres per hour. Negative, we have two parties trapped up in that area that are sitting in the middle of the road. 150,000 acres in 36 hours. Who imagined it would take out a whole neighborhood in 20 minutes? Leaving scenes like this throughout the outskirts of the town of Grand Lake. Everybody here knows, you know, at least two, three, four families who don't have a home and are displaced. Months later, this community is recovering. Between the support of the community and just how people rallied behind all the fire victims and just the way the whole town, the whole county came together, it's like we can't leave this. They are rebuilding. Everyone is pitching in and trying to bring each other up. We're actually more rooted here than ever and we don't have a house. And I'm happy to camp, you know, we, we're, we're here. We're more here than we ever have been. While still remembering what happened. Troublesome Stories is a way to be able to show not only the images of the fire itself, but the artifacts that relate to the loss. And, and it's profound. Um, I'm really looking for items that have depth and meaning to them personally. You know, um, this teacup is the perfect example. It's a piece of wedding china, you know, from her wedding many, many years ago. The next step is to restore Grand Lake to what it was and what it will be the return of visitors this summer. They are welcome, that we want them here, that um, visitors are a, a huge part of our recovery. A small town like the sun off the lake itself, reflecting and taking steps to move forward. It is still a small town, community place, and you know, it's... Um... And when the rubber hit the road, <laughs> Grand Lake stepped up yep. and, and showed what this town is made yep. of what a true community is all about.